in the analysis video, we came up with the plan we can see here on the right. And this is what I'm going to try to implement now. And what you will see me do first is to create a script and then start implementing what we see here in the main function. And if we now take a look and compare it to our plan, we can see that the first thing in our plan was to create a list with the te uh, test data. And I have done that here. So we have copied the given sentences into a list so that we can use them in a for loop. One thing that I added that I think will be nicer when we actually run the script is that I added a print that shows some information of what it is that is going to be printed. So it's nicer for the user to get some information about what's going to be printed. So that is something that I realized when I was implementing that I didn't have here in my plan, but I added it because I think it will look nicer. And then after that, we have this loop that checks all the data or uses all the data element by element from the list call the capitalize function with the data at that element and display the result. I combine these into one instruction. We see here I display data on the screen by using the print function. And as one of the arguments here, I use a function call. So here we have what we have here on the left. And on the right here, then we have this capitalize function. So let's try to start implementing this one. And if we stop here and take a look at what we have so far, so I have defined a function and I have added the two first things here. I want to store the first letter and make it uppercase in a variable. But after that, I want to store the, the rest of the letters in another variable and make them lowercase. And we see here, if we stop here, and we can see right away that I haven't made them upper or lower yet. But what I have done is that I've picked out one letter from a string. And this is how you do that. So that then we could pick out the first letter. But for all the other letters, I used string slicing. And we start at index one, and then we just take the rest of, of that string and we store that as other letters. Now, there is this one thing about making them upper and lower left. And I think I will do that when we combine them. Why did I choose to do it here in this step instead of here as we listed it when we made our plan? When I see it in code, I think it makes more sense to do it in the second step because when we read the code, here we clearly pick out the first letter and here we pick out the other letters. So when I read the code, it's clear that we are picking something into subparts and then we can use them to do what we want to do with them, to make them upper or lower in a second step. So to me, it makes more sense to first split it and then do something with them, like make them upper or lower. So that is why I did it in the second step here. If we take a look at our plan, we can see that, all right, we have a little bit left and that is to check if the sentence ends with a period or not. If it doesn't, then we should add it. So let me add that code. With that last bit added, let's try to run the script and see what happens. And here we can see the result. We have this title here, so we know what's going to be printed. And after that, we use a loop to go over the three elements and calling the function capitalized with 
these as the arguments and here on the right hand side is what is returned and it looks correct from what I can see so let us just take a look at what we did here because there's a few things to note here the, the last step in Polya's problem solving technique is to reflect on what we did and of course here are a few things that is new and that we haven't used so much for example picking out letters or using list slicing or string slicing sorry and also this one using a negative index which will pick the last letter or we start from the end of the string uh, so minus one means the last letter so that might be something that is new we have used upper and lower to transform a string to be upper or lower case but there is something else here that maybe we should stop and, and reflect on and that is that when we implemented our solution here we actually changed it a little bit from the plan that we had created we can see here I added the output here with this uh, information of what's gonna be printed that's not in our plan here so that is something I changed when implementing it and there is also this last thing we changed up here with not to making them upper and storing them in in one step I split it into two just because it's easier to read to me when I write the code so it is worth reflecting on that all right we have this plan to, to help us when we implement the script later on but of course when we write the, the code it might be that we realize that all right there is some things that makes more sense to me when I write the code if I do it in a slightly different way we still have the steps here in our plan it's just in the code when we are implementing them we see that all right this makes more sense if someone else is to look at our plan of course we should go back and update it but if we use this for ourselves just so that we can implement the script then we can make this slight adjustments or tweaks when we implement it without having to go back and update the plan so remember the plan is there to help us to implement the script